Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to talk about the surface deformer and splines. So I have a simple scene set up in this project file. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to a simple sphere. So we're just going to go to our primitives, choose a sphere. And I'm going to go to my front view, F4 on the keyboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my spline and grab my pen, grab my pen tool, and I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. And what I want you to do is I want you to create a spline by clicking, dragging, and just create just a, a, a closed circle here. It could be any shape that you want, and you can experiment with this if you like. You can stretch it out and give it the shape that you think looks best. And then what I want to do is I want to go back to my perspective view, F1 on the keyboard. And I accidentally made another spline, so make sure I delete that. Okay. And next what I want to do is I want to grab our deformers. So we're going to go to our deformers and we're going to come down over here where we see surface. And we're going to put our surface underneath our spline. Now if you click on the spline, or excuse me, if you click on the surface, a deformer, you're going to see that we have a projection type and we have this surface field here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our sphere and place this into this surface section here. So let's go back to our surface and what I want to do is I want to go to my sphere and I just want to go to basic and we're going to press x-ray for a moment so we can see our object, our, our spline. Now if we go back to our spline, excuse me, or back to our surface deformer, and we'll go to object, we want to make sure that our type is set to UV. And you can see it gets all like, turns into a mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're in the right plane. So if we go to XZ, and let me rotate around here, you can see that now this spline is wrapped around our sphere. It's projected onto the sphere. So what we want to do next is we want to get a, say, say a, a circle spline primitive. And let's bring this down to something more manageable. Instead of 200, we're going to go to 10. Next, we want to go to a sweep generator. So we'll go to our generators, we'll choose sweep. And we're going to put our spline and our circle that we made and put that underneath our sweep. Now this might be a little bit too large. You can adjust your radius a little bit if you go back to your circle and fiddle around with these arrows to see a nice size that works for you. And what we can do is we can go back to our sphere and we can go back to basic and uncheck x-ray and you can see that we have this nice little setup here now what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit and I'm going to take my objects my sphere my sweep the circle spline and surface select those in my object manager I'm just going to drag this into this scene here and what we have is now everything is subdivided. Now let me turn on some of my, my lights and my little background here. And let me rotate around a bit. And now I have a few materials already set up in my material manager. And we have an orange for the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blue material, put this on our sphere 
and I'm going to take this pink material and put this onto our sweep. So now we have a little bit more uh, distinction between our objects. So I also have a little camera and uh, a light and a physical sky. So I'm just going to go to my camera, look through my camera. And maybe I want to adjust a little bit of my render settings so I can go to effect and maybe give it an ambient occlusion, give it a little bit some nice shadows in between some of these objects here. So if I do a render, I'm just going to do right to my picture viewer. You can see we have this pretty nice looking scene where we have this spline wrapped around your object. Now you could do this with any object. I'm using a sphere. You can use it for a character. You can use it for maybe a hard surface model. If you want to have something that wraps around an object, something, you know, something like this, a wire or a cable, something like that, you can adjust that simply by going to your uh, circle, adjusting the size, and then going back to your spline and adjusting that, and not knowing that it's, it's non-destructive, so you can always go back and adjust it if needed. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far at astronomicskills.com. Also, I created a Udemy course for beginner 3D modeling in Cinema 4D. I would value your opinion and if you could take a look at it and review it, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.